It's not because of this, but uh, it's ironic that today is actually uh, stand up to bullying day. Um, and if you watch this show uh, or listen to the radio show, you know that I always end the show with go out there and be yourself because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. And because I end the show like that, I better walk the walk and talk the talk, even on a goofy show like ours. And this is one of those times where I'm going to stop the fun and just speak directly to you because two situations have come to light in the last 24 hours that has literally bugged the hell out of me. And the first one is vicious, not criticism, but vicious, horrible attacks on colleagues of mine in the meteorological department. Uh, I know that the snore storm wasn't what some predicted. I will say, though, the team at Fox 9 was almost perfect in their prediction. I'll just say that. But over, the last, but over the last 24 hours, some colleagues and friends of mine have been on the receiving end of not fair criticism or jokes, but vicious, vicious messages, some homophobic, some violent, some threats, all because of snow. The science of, meteor of meteorology isn't a perfect science. If it was, or if it was easy, we could all do it. I know the jokes of, well, I could take a dart and throw it, I have even made myself. But these professionals look at 10, 12 models and, and look at that data and craft a forecast to keep all of us safe. And they do the best that they can. They do the best that they can to keep us safe. Criticism, they can take. Violence and unnecessary vitriol, no. Not necessary for something like this. They can't defend themselves without getting in trouble, but I sure the hell can defend them. <laughs> now, just be better. Be better, part two. I am really sick of having to come on this show and defend female colleagues of mine. In 1997, when I started at WCCO at 22 years old in the dispatch shack, I would take messages from people calling to comment on the outfits of Amelia Santanello. Not commenting on her professionalism, not, count, not commenting on her work ethic, but commenting on her hair, the length of her skirt, how she looked in a certain outfit. Never once in the three years I worked at WCCO or this station have I ever taken a comment about a male colleague of mine. Two years ago, I had to stop down the show to defend another female colleague. And these people aren't asking me to do this, but Elizabeth Reese, my friend from our competing show, Twin Cities Live, who was on the receiving end of some of the grossest comments I've ever read about, you guessed it, her appearance, how she looked in a certain outfit. Any of that go to her co-host Steve at the time? No. Yesterday, this one was on the receiving end of unnecessary attacks on her appearance. Not liking her skirt, people calling the station to complain about it. Again, not commenting on the fact that my, my little sister and my friend had just completed a really hard 48 hours of work. Let's go back to what I said at the beginning to keep all of us safe reporting on traffic conditions to make sure we knew where and where not to drive. Nobody called to comment on her work ethic. Nobody called to comment on her professionalism. They called to complain about this or that. And it's amazing because she doesn't deserve it. And again, she can't defend herself because she'll look like she's taking advantage of the situation, but I can. Because you know what happens when you pick on little sisters? You have angry big brothers. <laughs> I know, I gotta wrap. And in this case, you have several big brothers who aren't real happy right now. Uh, I love you. Love don't you listen to those comments. You are beautiful. I don't just say it as a line to end of the show. You're beautiful the way that you are. You're a professional. You're, you're grace under fire. You did a great job for this station the last few days. And I don't want you to take any of that in. Those comments are not about you. It's about the, it's about the people writing them has nothing, has, you're not in those comments. It says everything about them and nothing about you, and I don't want you to forget that. Thank you. We'll be